So the retinal implant works by uh, replacing the function of cells that transform light into neural sensations. So in a normal eye, light comes into the eye and these cells transform it into neural sensations that the brain can interpret. What we do with the retinal implant is that we replace these, the function of these cells by a camera that picks up an image. This image is analyzed by a computer and then transmitted to an implant and then the implant is activating neural cells at the surface of the retina that then the brain interprets as visual sensation. The people we can help today are people that have like a, an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's a disease that causes blindness that is progressive over time. Most of these people become severely blind uh, by the age of 40. Uh, when we get to these people a retinal implant, it doesn't work well for everyone. Some people get it really working well. Some people have like some minimal be benefit. For most of them, they can do things like follow lines on the ground that they couldn't do without a system like this because they are completely blind. And they can do things like, for instance, cook a little easier by themselves. Uh, so it's a help, it's a little bit of visual function and it works well for people that have a very advanced stage of blindness. We hope that in the future as we get better knowledge on how to stimulate the retina electrically and also how to better select patients that can get this benefit, we may be able to help a larger portion of the patient population for this specific disease but also for other eye diseases that cause blindness. So we're going to continue to develop this uh, retinal implant. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to give it to the patients that need it and can get some benefit today. So that means, you know, getting market approval, providing it for the patients that have severe blindness. And with this and with additional research, we will be able to uh, gather further data to be able to help a larger patient population. Uh, we have several versions of the new device that are coming in the pipeline, but you have to think that a lot of the smartness about a retinal implant is in the computer program that translates the image and imprints them on the retina. And this is where we think that we can make most of the benefit.